don't always get to look at things from this perspective. This high and this far from the usual level of perception. When you do, they not only appear different, but can also reshape the way you think. These scenes were captured from the lighthouse at Marina Beach in Chennai. When the sun comes out shining bright after a rain, everything around looks more vibrant and glowing. As a result, here it was, a beautiful day in Vizag. I'm in line with the stars, I'm in sync with the earth. Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf. I never switch sides, like even when I die, I'm a... And it looked even better from here. I've been on a vibe kind of hard to describe. I'm in between, I'm good. The sky was in high spirits that morning and was dressed up with all these pretty bubbles of clouds. It remains so throughout the journey until I reach Chennai. It was my first time in Chennai and its airport. Every airport tries to add to it a touch of culture of the place it belongs to. And what about these? The cabs in black and yellow. Something you write out at the airport. I got to know there's a metro in Chennai and I was happy about it. Now, first time in Chennai, uh, where can I go any place suggestion? Because if I couldn't decide where to go, I could just take a metro and go around the city. And that's the first thing I actually did. Metros are modern day wonders. You hop onto them and they take you through the place and help you with a quick glimpse of its people, its ways and style. I got off the metro at Nandanam only because it had an underground platform, somewhere I could sit, rest and decide where to go next. I met a few police officers who suggested a couple of good places to visit. But after I called a friend who I didn't meet for years, we decided to meet and he took me for lunch. It took quite a long time for us to reach the restaurant though. And on our way, I got to see some places in Chennai. Here we see a lot of cargo containers. That's Marina Beach Road. There's the lighthouse. This is the Reserve Bank of India. And I have no idea what this building is. Sorry. After almost an hour, we finally reached Pind. And I hope I said it right. And this is the Times of Pind, their menu card. We tried cheese corn balls, harabara kebab, and some paneer thing as well. The name of which I do not remember because one, I was too hungry, and two, the food was super tasty. Add the colorful ambience and the cool music to it, Pin definitely scores big on my review. The next stop after filling our tummies was the lighthouse. And look who is on the road the good old TVS XL. Before I drift off into childhood memories, Let's go to the top of the lighthouse. That's some view for sure, and much better than what you could see from the video. We then went to the beach where we first tried the goli soda. They are my favorite and I didn't have them for a long time. Oh. It's, good. Mm, it's good. So one was just not enough. The sun was about to set and the beach looked vast and not so busy. 
with the bags off my back, I felt relieved and light. You find beaches familiar when you come from another coastal city. But this one looked comparatively different. The shore is not right next to the road. There are no tall buildings that obstruct the sunset. It was less crowded and looked well maintained. Chennai is much bigger than I imagined it to be. I also didn't expect a lot of buildings with old architecture which looked well lit in the last light of the day. And special thanks to my friend. If I hadn't met him, I would have probably sat down at the metro platform, paying an extra fee for extra time until the day slipped off my hands. And the next stop from here would be Mumbai, where we hopped all night from one Ganesh idol to the other and spent the early morning at Marine Drive. See you soon again. Stay safe. I'm going to